Adverse and unexpected weather conditions can play havoc on farms at critical times throughout the year, particularly on dairy farms when it comes to milking time. For this reason, generators are becoming a common sight on farms. Today, Vincent will be showing us how he sets up his PTO generator to run his 40 bale rotary parlour in the event of a power cut. The name is Vincent Gorman, uh, Ballandrum Farm at Tide County Kildare. Uh, we bought this farm in 1990. Today, we're this coming year, 2020, we're hoping to milk 360 cows. But that wasn't always the case. When quotas were removed in 2015, we were milking less than 100 cows. So we have done quite a bit of an expansion since then. And we put in the infrastructure to go with that. So what you see behind me here is a 40 unit rotary parlour. Uh, we built a cubicle shed for 300 cows, two new silage pits, slurry lagoon, and cabin facilities. Well, I suppose one of the first considerations when you decide to go down the rotary route, you start thinking if the power goes and there's 40 cows on the rotary, what happens? And you realise suddenly, well, that you have to solve that problem. So the only way to solve it is to have an on-farm generator. So it was part of the planning and the infrastructure that we put in from day one. With the, we have three-phase power on the farm for the rotary and uh, we bought a three-phase generator off of Ronan Bradley in Port Leash and I had previously bought a single phase off from more than 25 years ago. It's an essential part of equipment because we would get an average uh, over the last number of years, probably eight to 10 power cuts in the year. And for no apparent reason, like we all are aware when there's a storm forecast that you may get a power cut and the power may go, but uh, it happens at times of the year when there's no storms. And you know, we, had, we have heard from DSB that birds have tripped out the power on occasions and things like that. But, as far as we're concerned, it's an essential part of equipment. It's probably the easiest part of equipment to install because it's only a matter it's delivered on site. We have one that's uh, work from the tractor, obviously. So it's just a power shaft. And all you have to do is drill the wall and put a, the shaft out through the wall. So it's, it's external. It's in, it has its own um, house for uh, what we call the electrical store where all the equipment is for the power for the parlour and for the farm. So it's in there, it's out of the way and it's safe and dry and it's only a matter of backing up the tractor to the wall and connecting the power shaft to have power. And go to the electrical unit and switch the off from the ESB onto zero. And then I have to go and get the tractor and bring it in, back it up and connect the power shaft or the power to PTO shaft onto the tractor. I then engage the tractor at low revs and build it up to 430 revs. That's the the level you work the generator at. So then I just come down off the tractor and come into the powerhouse and put the power from zero onto generator and then turn down the trip switches on the generator and the power cuts in immediately. Uh, to me it's as important as the bull tank, you know, because you never know when the power is going to be cut off for whatever reason. It may be DSB connecting a neighbour, it may be a storm, it may be someone doing development in the area and with a digger and catches a line or something like that and trips it out. As far as I'm concerned, um, I don't think you can dairy farm without a generator because the day for waiting on power to come back at 8 or 9 or 12 o'clock at night to milk cows, to me that day is gone. Well that's it from us. Don't get caught out without power when the next storm hits. Having a generator on hand will ensure nothing will stand in your way when it comes to milking your cows or cooling your milk.